hey everybody this is natasha welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video you will see me working on some vinyl decals for my water bottles now i purchased these water bottles from walmart for 98 cents i believe they used to be 25 cents i'm not sure but my store had tons of them in delaware but they were 98 cents so i grabbed a few because i've seen a couple ladies on instagram and the cricket groups making really cute decals on these inexpensive bottles which are perfect for you know kids um small events all those good things so i decided why not go ahead let's do some vinyl decals because i have so much vinyl but i have not been using my vinyl and i'm really upset about that like not upset but i have a lot of stock of things and i really should be promoting it or something you know what i mean like we buy tons of things and then we don't do nothing with it so i'm like okay anytime i get a chance to do a vinyl project then i have to jump on it so in this video you will see me struggle so bad with this vinyl now it's good vinyl but i don't know why i'm having so many issues with it i am layering well the idea was to layer all three so i could just transfer it all in one piece like I did my personalized bottle that I did post on my Instagram so if you haven't seen it you can check it out or I'll pop a little picture in right here so you can see it but I don't know why I'm having so many troubles with it so I ended up only layering two of the layers and then I put the top layer on last but if you want some advice from me I would say when you're dealing with vinyl have a new blade or good sharp blade so I could tell that my blade needs to be changed because it didn't cut all the way through on some pieces and number two definitely take your time so this is not a project if you're on short you know notice or don't have a lot of time because you don't want to rush because you don't want to lose any of the pieces that you need for your design and I know I kind of rush sometimes, especially when I peel the backing off and I always either rip my vinyl or lose a piece. So definitely have a sharp blade, take your time. And if you make any type of mistakes, definitely, um, definitely don't worry about it. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't worry about it. If uh, you lose a piece or if a, a piece of your vinyl shifts to the wrong spot, just put it back. It's sticky, um, but it's like a sticker. So you can pick it up and you can put it back down and, and place it where it needs to be. So you will see me do a lot of that, especially at this part right here with the yellow. I started to cut it in half, not thinking that I'm going to need my largest piece to be like my base piece. Or, you know, when you're cutting vinyl, you want to make sure you leave enough space around each design so that as you layer them, you have enough space for all of your designs to fit on one transfer sheet so you can move it all together. So my idea is now that I'm thinking about it and looking at this, I'm going to have to do another video because I really want to show you how easy it is to layer your vinyl. And I don't think this is a really good example of how easy it is. This shows you how hard it can be sometimes, not the layering part, just the process of weeding out the parts you don't need and making sure you don't lose it and you will see me um cut parts of the vinyl down because it, it is super sticky so it's best that you cut it down and work in small sections because if that's sticky the backing of the vinyl touch one of your um like design pieces that's it you can it may not come off or it would just give you a headache. So it's always good to work in small little pieces. If you're picking up big vinyl, uh, the, the negative part, just cut it off and get it out your way. It will make your life a lot easier. So as you see, I'm dealing with a lot of small pieces, which is the light is kind of bright, but I'm dealing with a lot of small pieces with this yellow. So I have to be super careful that I don't shift my uh, vinyl pieces too much. Cause I, I don't want to really mess with it too much once I start to transfer it over to the larger piece as you see here I'm just checking it over 
by keeping the picture on my iPad so I can make sure that each layer is going in the right order. And I'm just adjusting my pieces here. And then I'm gonna use some transfer tape to then start the layering process. And let's talk about transfer tape for a second. I'm using Silhouette transfer tape, which I do like, but I am so, so, so wanting to try the paper transfer tape. I did find some on Amazon for $14. It was like six inch by a hundred feet for $14. And that's extremely a lot, extremely a lot. So I really want to purchase that. I've already put it in my cart. I'm just waiting for the right time to go ahead and make that purchase. Cause I do still have a lot of silhouette transfer tape around. And I'm trying to use it up. So let's get back. So as you see on this part, I was trying to debate if I should layer the yellow on, on which part? See, ideally you want to work in order so that your final piece is all together and you can transfer it at one time. So I decided only to layer two and then I'm going to do my final transfer once I apply it to my bottle. So that's pretty much it. So you can go ahead and enjoy the rest of this video. Hopefully it's not too long for you, but I am excited or I am happy with the final outcome, even though it took a lot to get there. So thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, any feedback, suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Remember, you can always find me here on YouTube by searching at Divine Creations, or you can find me on Instagram at Natasha Divine. I will remember to put the links in the bio and like always, See you next time.